Hi, um, whoops, let me get rid of that sound. So I don't need to hear myself twice or three times. Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Michelle Jutrissa and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. So thank you for joining me today. Um, please jump on and say hello. Let me know where you're from if you're um, here visiting for the first time. If you have any questions, please post them on here and I'll try to answer them as we go. If not, I will answer them after the live has finished. So if you can, someone can just jump on, let me know they can hear me well, that would be great. Um, I'm just going to pop up my comments. So no one's left anything as yet, but I'm hoping and assuming that there are a few of you out there joining me today. Um, I did mention when I advertised my live today, this, this is going to be a bit of a mystery card because it was, at the time I didn't know um, what I was going to be doing. But now I, um, oh, hi, Linny, it's all good. Thank you. I have worked out what we're going to do and we're going to do a type of a gatefold card. Now let me just uh, t swap my cameras over. So I'm just going to bring this camera over in front of me. won't be a second. And let's just bring up my desk view. Okay, so you should be able to see my desk now. And we're using the fitting florets. Now, if I go back to here and you'll be able to see that there, this is the fitting florets. They're available from the first of all, they started to be available the 1st of November and they're right going right through to the 4th of January. So we've only got this month left. Now, with uh, the fitting florets, you've got the beautiful designer series paper. Now, let me just clarify this some this here. Um, the dies and the stamp set. Now, the stamp set is, let me just pull it over, is the framed um, florets. Let me just show you that one. Um, the dies and the framed florets will be continuing in our new mini catalogue. So that will be there. The only parts of this that won't be there that will be finishing as of the end of December or the 4th of uh, January is a beautiful designer series paper. And I've just got that here. So this is one of the sheets. This is my favourite. I love this. Um, so it'll be this and it's also... What won't be going through is the frame and festive stamps, which can be used now for Christmas, of course. And the other item that won't be going through is these little elements here that we're going to use on today's card. So the stamp set, which is this stamp set and the dies that coordinate with this, will be continuing into our mini catalog that's coming in January. But these items here finish um, their while stocks last at the end of December. So if you do want these, jump in. I know I'm sort of contemplating jumping in and buying another packet of this designer series paper because it is just gorgeous. So let me just pop all that to one side. And we don't need those for the moment. Um, so we're going to make a card using this stamp set now i'm not going to be using the stamps i am going to be using the design series paper and i'm going to be using one of the sentiments on this which is wishes for a beautiful birthday i really love this font it's just got a beautiful um softness to it i think um, it's not harsh so let me show you what we're going to do now i have got a prototype here if i can find it amongst my bits and pieces and I can show you what type of card it is just bear with me one sec as, as per usual I work in my little messy space here it's time for a clean up yet again the end of every week I think ah yes gotta do a clean up okay so this is my prototype card that I played around with last night and it's basically a gatefold card. So a gatefold card is where the two sides come in and go into the middle. Now, I've got a little bit of a gap there of a couple of millimetres, and this works out perfectly for this card because we have this locking mechanism, which I'm going to show you how to make. And this just slips on to your card just like it is simple.
oops, just like that, and locks into place. So rather than having a belly band, you have this really fun little um, locking mechanism here that can slide up and down and slide completely off. So that's our plan for today. These are the products we're going to be using. So we've got here polished pink um, cardstock. I've chosen this really beautiful designer series paper out of that um, pack. We're going to be using our stylish shapes before a um, large square piece we're going to cut in our basic white. And I've already cut it, but we're going to cut one of these flowers. Now, I just wanted to show you with the designer series paper. Let me just grab this piece here. This is my favourite one. Now, only some of these you can cut with this die. This is one of the dies that comes in with the stamp set, and that will cut out that arrangement of flowers just there. Okay, so you can see that that cuts out that one. But it also cuts out on our designer series paper here, this little one here, or this pink one. So you've got this one here, which is in the polished pink, and then you have this one here, which is in your blushing bride. All the other ones, like these ones here, you do need to fussy cut them. Okay, but you have got those ones there that you can cut. So I've already pre-cut that just to save a little bit on time. But I do need to cut some leaves from the Balmy Blue. And these are two more dies that come in this suite. And I'm going to cut those out in the Balmy Blue. And I'm going to cut, as I said, this large stitched square from the stylish shapes in my basic white. So let's start with getting that done. So let me bring in my mini cut and emboss machine because this will fit through this machine beautifully. Grab my plates. These were only just new plates the other day. I think I need to buy some more new plates. Been doing lots of die cutting. So we're going to pop our plate there on top. Run that through. Now, you, sometimes you do have to have that going through at an angle or have your plate staggered just so then it can catch. And, whoops, mine's just not wanting to play games. At the moment, let's just try that again. I have used this quite a bit, so it's probably saying to me I'm tired I don't want to go anymore okay let's just give this one more go there we are just needs that little bit extra push and wind to get that through it is a much lighter the mini one is a much lighter one than our big one so it Probably not going to last as long as that big one does. But in saying that, I use, let me just straighten up my work surface here. I use my mini machine a lot more than I do the big one because it is so handy. Luckily, Stamping Up have given us two dies for these little leaves and they are going in different directions and I think I'm only going to need the two. So we can pop those through together. Here we go. And that's just gone through like butter. Beautiful. So as I said, if you're new, please jump on and say hello. It's always good to see people on. And if you have any questions, just ask. If you are looking for a demonstrator and you're in New South Wales, um, please contact me. doesn't matter where you are. I'm not in New South Wales, in Australia. It doesn't matter where you are in Australia. Um, if you are overseas and you're looking for a Stamping Up demonstrator, let me know because I have a lot of friends in different parts of the world 
um, who are demonstrators as well and they might be able to help you. So I'm just going to use my take a pick tool just to pop these out as simple as that and also with the take a pick tool you can just use your brush to brush all those little bits out of there and I'm just going to pop them just up here to one side we'll clean those up later so there's our two little leaves and there's our um, piece of basic white cut in that square so let me show you what else you're going to need. So we'll pop that dies there and let's bring in all these bits and pieces here. So I've got my card base here. Now my card base, oh, there's our other die cut flower which we need. My card base is just a standard card base. I've cut it uh, 21 centimetres wide by 14.9 centimetres in depth. And that's just half a piece of A4 cardstock. I've already started scoring this and I am scoring it at 4 point. Oh, my piece of paper with all my measurements and everything. I've just gone a little bit one of walkies. Hold on a sec. Can't be too far away. Okay, we'll just work it out again. Let me just move all of this over here. It is written down somewhere. Here, no, it's not that. Okay, so let's work this out. I said that across here was um, 21 centimetres. So half of that is 10 and a half, of course. And half of your ten and a half is five point two five. So I've scored at five point two five in from this side here. So let me just show you. So we're going to pop that on the five point two five. Actually, that's not correct. It's actually yeah five point two five. There we go. Just there, take your cutting blade away and score it. Turn that around to your other side. And we're going to score it at 5.25 a second time. Just give that a couple of scores. Now pop that over there, but we're going to need that again in a moment. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fold these into the middle. And using your bone folder, give that a really nice firm fold there. So that's our card base. So you've got a little bit of a gap there in the middle where they come to meet, but that is fine because that will enable our locking mechanism just to slide up and down in there. Now I'm just going to straighten that up a little bit. The other thing we need for our card is the locking mechanism. So what I've got here is four pieces of cardstock and I've cut this, or four squares, and I've cut this at seven and a half centimetres square. Okay. We need some designer series paper and that's going to go on the side here and I've made it half a centimetre narrower. So as I said before, we had our... Score line was at 5.25, so we've got 5.25 by your 14.9. So if we take off half a centimetre that way, which will make it uh, 4.7 thereabouts, 7 point something, um, but 4.7 would do by 14.5 four centimetres and that's what I've cut each one of these pieces of designer series paper. I've also cut another piece of basic white cardstock and that's to go on the inside of our card and that piece measures 10 centimetres by your 14.4 centimetres and I have a little leftover strip here um, which I have cut around about I think it's one and a half to 1.7 centimetres wide by our 10 centimetres width, and that we're going to adhere to the bottom of that.
So our largest square that we cut it from the stylish shapes is just a perfect size to fit inside our little square there. So that's where that piece is going to fit. Hi, Anita. Thank you for joining us. Great to see you. Okay, so let me show you now. We've got to score these pieces here. So that's all our bits and pieces there. I'll just pop those to one side and we need to score two of these squares. So let me bring my trimmer back in. As I said, these were seven and a half centimetres wide, so we need to, half of that is three and a half, three, five, 3.75 centimetres is half of that. So what we want to do is score these 3.75, which is around about there. We want to score two of those at that measurement. There we go. So that's all our scoring done and all our cutting and everything has been done. So now let's um, put our start putting our mechanism up together. So with these two pieces here that I've scored, what we're going to do is fold these in half and just you want to make sure that they are in half. So you might be just that little bit out. And we're going to grab our bone folder and just give that a really good crease down that line okay and we're going to do the same with our second one so fold it in half making sure we've got that nicely flush in half it's not quite right there but we want to get that it's only just a fractionally out I'm just going to try and get that, that little bit closer. There we go. Okay, so now we've got these two pieces here, and this is our mechanism for our card. And we're going to grab some multi purpose glue. You probably could use um, your tear and tape if you want to use your tear and tape, but I find this is a lot easier. And what we're going to do with these mechanisms, we're going to glue it onto one of these for the moment. And we're going to line this up with our open edge on the outside. And lining that up with our other square. And we want that folded edge there in the middle. So I'm just going to pick this up and just make sure I've got this lined up really well. And I'm going to give that a really good burnish just to make sure that that is in place. Then I'm going to grab my second folded one. Again, put some glue on the back of that. Butting up those two folded edges. And pop that onto there. Again, I'm just going to line this all up, make sure it's all nice and lined up. And also gives that a really good press down. But you want those edges, folded edges, fairly close into itself like that. Then what we're going to do is put some more adhesive, but this time we're going to go right over the top those areas there over the top of that join and we're going to grab our fourth square and it's going to go right on top and that's what forms our closing mechanism for this card make sure it's all nice and square And just pop my glue lid on the glue and give that a really good burnish again both sides just to make sure that that's sitting 
nicely. So that is our closing mechanism. So what you're left with here is a piece like that, okay? And that's what's going to slide down either side of our card. So let's keep decorating our card now. So it's quite an easy but very effective card to make. So we've got our two strips of designer series paper and we're going to glue those onto the front of our card. So this is our gatefold card. And because I've made it that half a centimetre narrower, I've got about 2.5 mil all the way around my designer series paper. Let's do the same with the other side. And adhere that one on there. Is that a nice, good, whoops, gentle rub? Using the multi purpose glue, you've got a little bit of slip there to make sure everything stays in place. But if you're too rough, your paper will also move. So I'm just going to give that a really nice rub. On the back just to make sure that glue is smoothed out so there's our gatefold card so now we need to put our piece in the middle so here's my piece to go inside i've got my little trim piece just here and that's just going to go along the bottom And then this can just go on the inside of our card. Whoops, that's just moved. Okay, let's flip that over and just give that a nice rub just to smooth that glue out. So there's our gatefold card. So now we can bring in our lock and let's decorate our lock. Now you could decorate this as little or as much as you want. I am keeping this fairly simple. But what I do want to do is stamp my sentiment on there. So I've got my sentiment here and I'm using my polished pink. And I want to stamp this over into this bottom corner. Now what I will grab, because this is a photopolymer stamp, I'm just going to pop this onto mat here just to give me a bit of cushioning because with photopolymer stamps of course you need your foam mat to give you a bit of cushioning under your stamp because you don't have that like you do on your red rubber and i'm stamping this right into this side corner that's that sit for a second let that ink absorb into your paper there we are, beautiful. Now I'm just going to clean that down straight away. So just using my chamois here just to clean off that stamp. Now, of course, remember that any of your reds and your pinks and your inks can start, tend to stain your photopolymer stamps. So they will change colour, but that's fine. They will still work. Okay, so we've got our little bits and pieces here that we're going to pop on here and we're just going to decorate this corner of our card. As I said, I'm just keeping it all very, very simple and that's going to go 
like that. Now, I could have used my adhesive sheets to um, use to, on the back of these little pieces here, um, which would have helped to uh, glue them on, but I don't necessarily want them stuck all the way down. I'm going to pop this up onto some dimensionals. So I've got my large dimensionals here. So I do want to have this just popped up a little bit. Up another couple. I'm just going to pop them in towards the centre. More that's just going to allow me to slip these in underneath. Take these backs off here. And I'm actually just thinking as an afterthought, I might add just some white baker's twine. I just want to add a little bit of what I'm going to do is just take my seal here and just pop a little bit of seal into this corner here. I'm just going to pop just a bit there. I'm going to get my white baker's twine and just wrap that around my fingers a little bit. I think that should be enough. Let's give that a little bit of a twist. And that seal is just going to hold that in place there. And then that can stick. So I might just make that a little bit bigger. Oops, let me just take that off and I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. So I'm just going to wrap it around a few extra fingers. Oops, we've got, managed to get a knot in that. That's better. Don't need those knots. So let's just wrap this around. Now, it doesn't they don't all have to be the same size. Just want those two edges there to come back in together. There. Might be still a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to have to do this a little bit differently, I think. Best laid plans. Just. Boop, 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 boops. Just looping that around a little bit like a bow. Just want to have a bit of. Fluffiness there looks a bit messy, but that's okay because it'll all work. And I think that will be big enough now. Yep, probably even a little bit too big, but that's okay. Bring those in a little bit. Okay, nice. Then I'm just going to grab these little blue leaves that we've done in the balmy blue. Just going to pop a little bit of glue really just on that bottom part of the stem. And we're just going to tuck those underneath. So it's just going to come out framing. I want to see if I can pull that out just that little bit more. No, it's fairly stuck in there and I'm not going to play with it much more than that. Then we're going to pop a little bit more adhesive on this side. Tuck that in underneath there. I'm 
we'll grab some of these embellishments that came with this suite. I actually haven't even opened these yet. Now I just like to open mine down the side here. Just let, now it enables me to slip this in and out fairly easily. And we're just going to pop a couple of these on. Now I like to put these on in odd numbers and I like to form a triangle so it brings your eye back into your sentiment. Okay, so now we've done that, we can adhere that to our locking mechanism. Now making sure that I've got my locking mechanism going the right way. So there's my splits down there at the side. Hi, Miss Wari, how are you? It's great to see everybody joining us today and we're going to adhere that to there. So I think I'm just going to use a multi-purpose glue. And glue this on. Just straighten it up a little bit. Okay, just let that dry. But that is pretty much our card. So let me just pop this locking mechanism onto our card. So we close that gatefold card up. And with any luck, let's just, whoops. It's not wanting to play nice with me. It will. It's just getting that in. Once you get it in the first time round, it should be right after that. There we go. Just a little bit firmer because we've got that added extra designer series paper to what my prototype was like. But then you just pop that and push, push that down. does make to a little bit of a thicker card and you've got to be careful that the thread's not getting caught on there, which mine was. And there is our locking mechanism. It is fairly tight, so I probably could have made that a little bit, a bit more of a gap by just trimming off my edges there. But um, that's your card. So... Um, I think after this has been taken on and off for a few times, it'll probably work out quite well. So as you can see, that just will now slip up and down your card like that. So you can either have it sitting closer to your top or down to your middle. I probably would recommend that you didn't have too much hanging over the edge of your locking mechanism because it doesn't really allow me to get my fingers in there, but, um, but it still works. So that's my, let me just remove all this from underneath. That's my um, gatefold card with a centre front locking mechanism. I'm sure there probably is a better name for it than that. Um, but that's what I'm calling it. So um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I will post this up on my um, Facebook page and on my blog with all the measurements and everything. Um, would love to see what you create. So um, thanks for joining us today. And it's great to see Marie here too with us from Canada. Um, and it's uh, fantastic seeing all these people whose names I know and people I'm getting to know now quite well, which is great.
So um, I hope you've enjoyed this card. I hope you're getting around to making one yourself. Don't forget that this designer series paper is available until the end of December. And if you do want to purchase any of these products from me and you live here in Australia, of course, you can get them through my shop which is on michelletutrissa.stampingup.net or you can also find a link to it on butterfliesandbows.com. So um, please head over there and have a look. Don't forget too, you've got the um, last chance sale happening at the moment and I think here in Australia some of our products are selling out quite quickly. So uh, let me just pop me back up on here. Whoops, didn't quite go to me. There we go. Let me move this camera out of my face. So take care. Thank you for joining us today. And I hope to see you all again next week at the same time and the same place. And uh, we'll create something else. So have a lovely weekend and um, all stay safe. Thanks very much. Bye for now. <laughs>